Uh, customer service is the most important thing we do here at Talent Limited. It is the biggest thing that will drive our purpose, which is service, quality and value. The service one is absolutely key to making us win against the other competitors. So we really want you to be able to embrace the best way to perform customer service. To do that, we've tried to make two different simple analogies for you to be able to remember to put into play when you're at work. Satnav. Sat stands for smile, ask, thank. Every customer deserves all three of these. Hello there. Smile. Every customer deserves a smile at the beginning of every interaction, inside or outside the store. Find the vinegar, please. Certainly, of course, yes. If you'd like to follow me. Now it's just to the right here. There we are. Thank you. Is that all right for you? Ask. Every customer should be asked one question to begin a conversation and really begin engaging with them. That's fine, thank you very much. OK, is there anything else can help you with? No, that's all for today, thank you. Thank. No matter what situation, we must always leave with a positive comment. Always a thank you and something like, have a great evening. All right, well, you have a nice day. Thank you. Take care. You. This is equally as important for all of our team. Always remember SatNav when talking to your team. The more you smile, ask and thank each other, the better our relationships will be and the better we can make our place to work. So. Smile, ask, thank. Three easy steps for every customer and everyone else in the team. In one of the training sessions, um, they actually taught us sat now. So you've got smile, ask, thank. Particularly if it's in, well, on the shop floor, you've got the nav bit because you're taking them for a journey, um, sort of showing where the product is, asking them if they want to see anything else and thanking them for their time in the store. When a customer comes into to Budgeons, they they feel welcomed, they feel like you know this is a, a friendly environment, a friendly atmosphere and, and it makes them feel like you know this is somewhere quite, quite homey and, and, and local. Good afternoon. Hi there. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. You alright? Brilliant. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Did you find everything you were looking for today? Yeah, it's my second time being in today, mine. So really? I go. do that all the time. Would you like a bag? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Alright, so just these three, that comes to £5.03. Thanks very much. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Have thanks. a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. You look at other brands and they don't um, get as Inter they don't interact as much with their customers. We like to give customers more. <laughs> you try and give them the shopping experience that they're after, you know, um, and the shopping experience that you would like to have yourself, which is a big, big part of it. You know, you treat people how you want to be treated, and that's what we're encouraged to do. Whenever I work, we get the same people come in and they're always coming up to me saying how much, you know, you know, how good their day's been, you know, like, and talking to me about my day. The customer service that we give makes them feel a lot more um, uh, like they can be friends with us rather than we're just some kind of robotic operators. Sorry, I'm busy at the minute, love. Sorry, I was wondering if you could help me find the vinegar. Um, over there somewhere, I think. Five pounds, Graham. Where's your change, love? Thank you. Um, a bit short here? Bit short. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Upselling is about letting our customers know about some of the great things we have to offer. We are not about pushing people to buy things. Some retailers have gained a really bad name for trying to push things on people. We only want to make people aware of the great things we may have to offer to help them. Oh, these are actually on offer at the minute. They're two for three pounds. Do you want me to pick them one up? Or? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. All right. Actually, this one's just right here. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Okay. All right, I'll put that's them it. through together. Oh, it's going to be a fight over who's the snowman in the Santa now. <laughs> Your manager will help you with any possible opportunities to try this out. So that's how well things work when everything's going great, but sometimes things don't quite always go so well. We're in retail, it's real life, things go wrong. So when they do, we need to have an approach for how to deal with things when they go wrong. That's where we want our customers to last.
Blast stands for listen, apologize, solve, thank. Hello there. Oh, really? If something has gone wrong, someone will want to tell you about it and sometimes let off steam. The only way to deal with this is to keep listening until they've calmed down and got their point across. Interrupting will only ever make things worse. Even in the most irate people, they'll calm down if you simply listen and try to understand for long enough. The problem. Smell. Oh. I'm not prepared to feed my family this. Okay. Then we need to apologise. Not that we have done anything wrong, but that this has happened and that we really want to help put it right. Right, OK. Well, I'm terribly sorry about that, madam. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, I'll get a supervisor to sort it out as soon as possible for you. I'm terribly sorry about this. It's, uh... Then you need to look to solve the problem. In a lot of cases, this could be calling for your team leader or duty manager. This is your way of solving the problem. I'm terribly sorry about everything, oh, madam. Sorry, no problem. Thank oh, you very well, much for sorting it. That's not a problem. Thank, thank you very much. Take care. Before they leave or go to talk to a manager, we must thank them. Just as everyone still deserves a thank you, especially if something has gone wrong. Take care. Bye-bye now. Actually, sometimes you really see yourself changing a customer's mood. It's, it can be a little bit of a game. You see someone come in, they look quite moody, and you actually want to turn them around, so when they're walking away, you do actually get a little bit of a smile from them. It's actually quite rewarding. Yeah, I've used it a few times, obviously thanking them and apologising for the problem. I always see them come back, so it's good. We really need our customers to last. They're the people who believe in us and help us to build a great place to work. It's only by giving them the best customer service, even when things go wrong, that we'll achieve this. If we do our job at making them last well enough, after our final thank you, they will actually want to thank us back. At Touts Budgins, we believe customer service and our commitment to our teams will always be the key to our success. I really hope you enjoy working with us and have great fun with your team.